Hi, in this problem we have a quadratic equation and we're going to look at the types of solutions that it has. To do that we're going to look at a quantity called the discriminant. So the discriminant is d equals b squared minus 4ac. And this comes from the quadratic formula. This is the part that's like inside the square root in the quadratic formula. Recall the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this piece here on the inside is called the discriminant. So basically we have a couple different cases. If this is zero, then basically the square root of zero is zero, so we just get negative b over 2a. So we have a repeated uh, real root because we're dealing with equations with uh, real coefficients. And if d is positive, so like maybe it's five or maybe it's four, um, you're gonna get a positive number, so you're gonna get distinct real roots because you're gonna get two of them because it's a plus or minus. Distinct real roots. Okay, in that case, we'll get distinct real roots. And if d is less than zero, then you're gonna get a negative in the square roots. You're gonna get an i. So in this case, you'll have complex conjugates as roots. Complex conjugates. All right, so let's go ahead and do this problem here. So um, to find a, b, c, we just use matching. We match this with the quadratic equation, which is written this way. That's the form of the quadratic that we're matching it with. So a is six, just from matching here. So a is six, uh, b is negative 11, and c is negative 10. So now we're gonna look at d. So it's b squared, so it'll be negative 11 squared minus four, a is six, and then c is negative 10. So d is gonna be, so I'm gonna put this in my calculator. Um, I guess I could do it without a calculator actually, it's not that bad. This is 121, and then this is plus 24 times 10, uh, that's 240. So d is equal to 361. Yeah, actually easier to do without a calculator because you can type it all in, but it's just like, <laughs> um, it's pretty easy, right? Because that square is 121 from memory and this is 24, 24 times, 10, 24 times 10 is 240 and they're both negative, so boom. And that's really easy to add, right? 121 plus 240 is 361. So in this case, D is positive, so we have distinct, we have distinct real roots. Distinct real roots. Pretty cool. And this is the square root of 361, right? So it's gonna be negative B, plus or minus the square root of 361 over um, 2a, right? So um, that's not a number we know, so they're going to be irrational roots as well. So that's also gonna be the case. So in case, just extra info. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.